What's good everyone, it's Joseph Green Dentistry back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna do something different this time. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a haul of what I got at SmileCon 2022. So some of y'all may be thinking, what is SmileCon? SmileCon is a convention for dentists and dental students. And a lot of vendors will be there from different dental brands like Colgate, um, there's this one brand, Coco Floss. They're gonna be giving out free samples of their products, trying to convince people like us to use them in the future, in our future practices, or for dentists to use them in their practices. So there's all types of vendors there giving out all these things. And it's a really good networking event. And I'll recommend anyone watching to go if you haven't gone already. Lucky for me, SmileCon was in Houston this year. So my school gave us Thursday and Friday off to go to SmileCon. Did they actually give us those days off? Not really, because the lectures were still recorded and we have to watch them in our own time but it was still thoughtful of them. They also paid for us to take a CE course there too. It was cool too, because at SmileCon, everyone got these badges. Mine says Joseph Green, dental student. Everyone had one that either said dentist or dental student. It was cool, it was a really professional event. So enough of all that, let's go ahead and dig into what I got. All right. So in this first bag, there is a water pick vendor and they made me watch like a seven minute video before giving me this goodie bag. I haven't even looked inside, so let's go ahead and see what I got. Toothpaste, the good stuff, okay. We got a water pick professional dental product sample pack, okay. So I'm not too familiar with water pick. I just know it helps clean your like subgingival and interproximal areas. But this looks like something that can be pretty useful. I'm not gonna lie. I may need to try this out and see what it's about. Ooh, they also threw in a sample of TheraBreath mouthwash. I actually use TheraBreath. Um, I used the more darker blue bottle. I think it helps with gingivitis, but um, yeah, it was cool for them to give me this. I haven't tried this one. It says uh, formulated for fresh breath. So I'm gonna give that a try. They also threw in some, look like some coupons and a little pamphlet. So yeah, it's just a bunch of coupons. So let's go ahead and go to the next bag. This one is thin. Um, this one vendor just gave us, they're giving out totes. So I started throwing just random stuff I was getting from different vendors in there. I got this military scholarship pamphlet. So if you don't know, the military, like the Navy, the Army, they have scholarships for dental students. And it's pretty much like they'll pay for your school or have your school or, or whatever the case. And then you have to serve in the, in the military for a certain amount of years to pay them back. So the military rep there, he was telling me, oh, if you still have two more years in dental school, we have a new scholarship where we pay for two years of dental school and then you serve for three years in the military. And he said, is it fair? Kind of not because they pay for two years and then we have to serve three years. But he was saying that's only because it's like their rule. Anyone who signs up for the military has to do at least three years. So, you know, talking to him, I, I kind of got a little bit interested. So I might have to look more into that. He also gave me this big pamphlet right here. Just talking about the Army Dental Corps, um, or Corps, however you say that word. Next, I got this business card, Ivy Smile. Um, I don't even, I don't remember what, what this was. I'm gonna have to look this up, actually. And last, I got a webcam cover. So pretty cool stuff that they were giving out. I really can't remember which brand was giving this one out. Oh, it's Humana. Humana Insurance, you can kind of see it on the, um, on the cover. So, yeah, it's like a lot of random stuff that you could get at these events, but honestly, it's really, it's worth going for the networking too. Like it's not just the free stuff. I met a lot of, I would say important people, a lot of great dentists. Next, I have this thing, it's supposed to be a troll. There was like a troll station. So we were making trolls, if that's a thing. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, so that's that. I got a phone stand for my desk. Uh, there's a couple vendors giving these out, but I thought it was pretty cool. I got this hat, Curve Dental. Curve Dental, so I haven't heard of Curve Dental, but I'm assuming it's um, probably like a, probably a dental practice. Um, 
not too sure. Uh, let me see, we got more flyers, business cards. Oh, okay. Um, there's one brand handing out these t-shirts. Apparently it's kind of like an Uber, but for dentists and dental hygienists. So if a practice needs someone to come in and help them out, you can go on the app and then they can hire someone to come in for the day. Um, it's called Temp Me. It, it sounded pretty cool and that, that booth was pretty cool too. They gave me also um, a Starbucks gift card. I'll probably find it in here later, but they're giving out a lot of stuff. So um, check that out. They were telling me that a lot of dentists and hygienists were making really good money off of it. So maybe in the future, someone watching will be using the app. Next, I got these toothpastes, you know, just the usual stuff you would get. Let me look for something good. Oh, here's that Starbucks gift card that they were giving out. I got some gum. Anyone who knows me knows I love chewing gum. So I had to grab two packs. And lastly, I got a badge reel, which I needed. I needed a black one because mine is red. It doesn't really match. I got this charger. It's pretty cool. Don't really know how it works. I think you plug this into your laptop and then you plug this into your phone and it charges like that. And I got a phone stand. Pretty cool. A prop mirror and a pen. So yeah, a lot of cool random stuff that I was finding. But hey, it was it was still fun, still fun. And lastly, we have this bag in which I feel we have the most diverse products. So they gave me a habit tracker and some pencils. So I think it was like um, you write down your monthly habits and your motivations and you get the color and make it unique. So this was given by the ADA. So shout out the ADA. Anyone who's in the industry knows who the ADA is. This popper, not really sure what this is, but it's like a bubble popper. I was given some dental products. So like a mixing spatula, an endo insert. I was also given some free samples for cocoa floss. I'm gonna have to dig in here and look for the cocoa floss. But it's pretty much like a scented or, um, or like, like a taste of like floss with taste. I'm not sure if it's scented or if, if it's like the taste, but this is what it looks like. These are the samples that they're giving out. And a lot of my classmates were going crazy for it. They're like, oh my gosh, I really wanna try it. And you know, so it was hyped up. So I had to go, I had to go find some myself. I got this um, warmer, you heat it up and put on your eye, like if you have a sty. So you heat it up, put it in your eye, and it's supposed to help make the sty go down. And I never had a sty in my life, but recently I got like two or three out of nowhere around the time when I turned 24. So I don't know what's going on with that. So I'm definitely gonna be using that. I'm just gonna dump this out, because there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's see. I got more, more pamphlets, another phone stand, but this one's from the ADA. This one, looks pretty cool so um there's that another therabreath sample another free sample so i'm going to be using this one too i got a badge for texas tech el paso don't really know why i got that one but hey any texas tech students if you want this hit me up maybe i'll just mail it to you so yeah more pamphlets um i got a mouse pad and it's pretty cool this this brand they put um all the teeth on there, they kind of like labeled them, the number and the names, and they put like the lower arch, upper arch. They said what a cusp is, a sulc is, labial circus, all of that. So I, I felt like that was pretty cool. More pamphlets, more books. And yeah, lastly, a couple of laptop cleaners or glasses cleaners. So, yeah, that was pretty much everything I got from SmileCon. Actually, no, there's one more thing. I got this goat. This goat was probably, it was probably number one on my list of what I wanted because as soon as I walked in, I saw someone with a goat. And I was like, excuse me, where'd you get that goat? And he told me how to get it. So I went to the ADA booth, filled out the form, took it to their other booth, and then they gave me the goat eventually. So very happy with this. This is probably, my grail of the whole event, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, just look at it, it's pretty cute. So that's pretty much it for this video. 
Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if there's any other videos that you want to see. Uh, shoot me some ideas. So yeah, it's always good talking to y'all. It's fun for me making videos. And it was really fun for me doing something different. This is the first time I did like a haul video. And yeah, that's it for today's video. And I'm out. Peace. Oh, oh. Y'all thought it was done? Nah, so small cons actually more than one day. So I ended up going for a second day and I ended up getting more stuff. So we're gonna keep this video rolling and go ahead and start unpacking. So this is now the stuff I got from day two. Small con lasted from Thursday, Friday to Saturday. And I wish I could go to all three days, but you know, I have stuff to do on Friday. So let's go ahead and see what I got from day three. So I'm just digging in here. Oh yeah, so I got these three samples. It's from a brand called Hygiene, and their goal is to start using biodegradable dental materials because they say the industry has a lot of plastics in their profession, so they're trying to help reduce that. And their first step is getting their products to the dentist to give to their patients. So they have this biodegradable toothbrush. I believe they said that the wood was made out of bamboo. I'm gonna come up so y'all can see that. It says hygiene on the toothbrush. And the bristles are, they're pretty soft, which is recommended right now. And they also have biodegradable um, floss and they have biodegradable vegan floss. Wow, okay, so they have vegan floss right here. This right here is their biodegradable toothpaste. It says toothpaste tablets, uh, plant-based ingredients. So that's pretty neat right there. Next, I got some Crest toothpaste, free toothpaste. They actually had a try it yourself booth where they had their electric toothbrushes and they gave you a new toothbrush head and allowed you to use their toothbrush at a sink and brush your teeth. It was really nice. But yeah, it was pretty cool. It was one of the best booths that were at the convention. And yeah, I really appreciate the toothpaste. Can never go wrong with, uh, with free toothpaste. This is the head I used on my toothbrush whenever I was at the convention. They let you keep it if you wanted to. So if I end up getting an Oral-B IO, then I guess I have a head to use. And now that I'm thinking about it, I can't remember if the Crest booth was the same as the Oral-B booth. I don't know if it's the same company. I could be wrong, but you know, just in case, just putting that out there. Next, I have another badge reel, a sticker, more pamphlets. And I actually got my hands on another Starbucks gift card from the same booth. This time when I went to the convention, I was walking around with my classmate and I convinced him to go sign up for the app or whatever so he could get a gift card. And because I did that, they were like, well, you got one the other day, but we're gonna give you a second one. So shout out to them. I believe the booth was Tint Me. Yeah, and lastly, I went to the Colgate booth. They gave me this bag, some Colgate products. I got this, um, toothpaste, I got a toothbrush. And additionally, they were giving out these whitening samples. So I don't know if y'all can see that, I'm gonna let it focus a little bit. I'm excited to try it out. They tried it on like a plastic model so I can see how it feels. And I put rub my finger against it. I don't really know, I'll give it a shot and see what it's like. But yeah, I just appreciate the free samples. Can never go wrong. Next, I went to the Listerine booth and they gave me this bag, which is pretty nice. And they also gave me a free sample of Listerine mouthwash. And they were trying to show me and my classmate a study that was done. Pretty much the study was saying that if you use Listerine mouthwash versus dental floss, the Listerine would clean it in approximately more versus the dental floss. Now, I would have to read the scientific article myself to see what exactly or how exactly the research was done. But, you know, it was cool. It was a cool little presentation and also got free mouthwash. So again, never could go wrong with free stuff, right? And lastly, I walked away with a grand prize. So at one of the booths, I believe it was Rodeo Dental. As I was leaving, one of the employees was like, hey, I have a trivia question for you. If you can answer it, I'll give you this TV. So I went ahead and gave it a shot. I was like, okay, what's the question? And the question was, who was the father of chopped and screwed music? And I believe she worded it a little bit differently, but being from Houston, I answered it pretty quickly. It was DJ Screw. So I just told her, DJ Screw. And she said, okay, here's your TV. And so I ended up walking away from SmileCon with a 32 inch LED TV. 
HD high definition F20 series. I really don't know. Um, let me pull it right here so y'all can see. I really don't know if I'm gonna end up using it. I probably will. Still debating about, I might just give it away. But man, this was a really, really cool event. SmileCon was something that I didn't even know it was a thing really until I got to dental school. And although I missed a lot of time I could have been spending studying or in the lab, I don't regret going to SmileCon. This was so eye-opening. I got to meet so many dentists. I made a lot of connections. And the whole event was just a breath of fresh air instead of just being glued in a PowerPoint all day studying. It was fun being able to dress up nice and out, out of my scrubs for once. And just, you know, go have fun with my classmates, meet students from different schools. It was an overall great experience. And honestly, again, I would recommend anybody who's in the dental field to go to these events because, man, it was it was great. It was a fun event. So again, thank you for watching. I hope y'all liked the video. I really appreciate everyone still rocking with me. Again, I can't stress this enough. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me so much. And yeah, again, I appreciate everything. And I'm out. Peace.